What's good YouTube, it's your boy Ant Live Live in fact back in the building, welcome back to a brand new video. Now we are starting this video mid game, the game just started but I forgot to hit record cause I'm a bozo. We're back on some triple threat online co-op, still on this grind for Pink Diamond Kevin Garnett. Right now I'm running with LeBron. Now we playing against Kyle Kuzma, Isaiah Thomas and LaMarcus Aldridge. I've been seeing a lot of people run this LaMarcus Aldridge, I don't know why. Never in my life would I use any players from that set that came out yesterday. I mean that set was just bananas. Oh yeah you got me. It's Sersky. Let's go bang out. If you watched my video two days ago, you know we've been struggling in triple threat co-op. We were at like 10 wins. But yesterday, I was playing with some randoms and we ended up going on like a 15 game, not win streak, but we ended up winning like 15 games. We lost like three. So shout out to them. So we are definitely moving closer in triple threat co-op. I got more wins in triple threat co-op online than I do in clutch time offline, which is good because clutch time offline will be the last game of we got to do. And since it's offline we gonna be on cruise control we still got a decent way to go but playing with the randoms last night definitely helped oh this isn't even the diamond rudy gobert they gave us the ruby oh that's crazy 2k now 2k did some shit today i ain't gonna lie now yeah i know these last two seasons we've been having the gauntlet event and all that so 2k added the gauntlet event to this season of course and we all knew it was gonna be unlimited but we just didn't know how many wins you would need they made it 12 wins now look i don't got a problem with the 12 wins okay like we had that in 2k's before 12 wins in a row like i actually like it. it makes unlimited competitive it gives you something to play for like i don't mind the 12 wins in a row i get skill based matchmaking all that but y'all gave us lamar odom now hold on not even like a good lamar a diamond lamar odom like bro we were getting diamonds in the gauntlet in season one with chris bosh he was from season one right like chris bosh from season one is better than our season three reward i can't say that because we haven't used lamar yet but i think we all know he's gonna be better now now, I don't know why 2K loves Lamar Odom. Bro, Lamar was on that white girl, if you know what I'm talking about. That booger sugar. That, um, that perico. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't know if he's the best option to put in a game. I mean, when did we start co-signing this? Now, look. I mean, do you. That's his personal business. But not only did he do that, not only was he on the on the white girl, he cheated on Khloe Kardashian. Now look, you gotta be on some serious, serious stuff to be cheating on Khloe Kardashian. Cause just like, bro, that's insanity. Like, what are you doing? And it's not even like Khloe Kardashian now after she looks hit. Cause now she a little hit, you know? Back then it was like, bro, like, you know what I mean? Like she was looking at right. you, you feel me? Whatever you was on was fucking your brain up. I don't know, Lamar Odom, just I feel like there's a lot of better options y'all could have went with. I'm gonna keep it a bean with y'all. You know, just as a person. Now, look, I'm not somebody. We all make mistakes. We all have past. Whatever. He's sober now, I think. I hope. Just as a card in my team, like, y'all gotta do better. Now, am I gonna go for Lamar Odom? Um, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna go for him. I'm gonna play unlimited. And if I win, like, if I win, like, five straight just on some calm stuff, then maybe I'll be like, okay, I'm almost halfway there. Let me get right. But am I gonna, like, dedicate every day to going for Lamar Odom? No, it's just simply not worth it there's so many cards that are better it's not worth the time you could put your time into so many other players honestly i don't think the card is gonna be trash like i think it's gonna be a decent card i just think compared to other cards that we got it's just not competing now staying on the subject of basketball we're gonna talk some real basketball because draymond green is out here getting into fights again now he didn't get into a fight but he did backhand nurchik um i think it was an accident i don't think he should be suspended maybe he should be fine just because that's how the league is now i don't agree with taking money away from players you know taking food off their table whatever but rules are rules gotta abide by them and if you smack the shit out of somebody you gotta pay for it that's just the league it's draymond green at the same time though so he definitely knew what he was doing but he did apologize because he know he don't want to get fined again and i also think draymond just frustrated with the warriors and how they playing and they not doing too good so i think that that's really taking a toll on him and he just need to take his anger out he need to join like a mma class or something because bro you can't be beating up on the league just because you mad at life like it ain't the leagues for i mean it is they be cooking y'all but like link up with conor mcgregor get in the lab and get busy so we are at 35 wins we're five wins away from 40 we need 15 wins to get this dude all right we got jeremy grant lebron and david robinson this is gonna be a tough game but it's all right who did they give us kg that's who we grinded for let's go kg now i ain't gonna lie i be seeing kg in these games and he be looking a little like like a little sad like he don't be moving like that and if i get kg and he's not good 
dude, I'm gonna be tight. Now, another thing 2K do gotta do, and they got a chance to kind of redeem themselves for this whole Christmas event and make things right. Now, hear me out. If they give us a locker code with somebody crazy from the Lakers for winning the in-season tournament, then we lit. Now, obviously, they're not gonna give us a LeBron. We have this LeBron who, like, if he's badged up, is... LeBron is, in my opinion, the best card in the game behind Melo. A badged up LeBron, there's nothing nobody could do with him. He could literally do everything. Now, I do think, though, we could get a pink diamond or even a diamond Anthony Davis. I want to say pink diamond just because, like, you know, we want pink diamonds. We're starting to get into them. But I don't think 2K is going to flood out all the pink diamonds they got this season. I don't know if we'll get, like, a locker code later on or, like, now. I don't even know what I'm saying, if this shit making sense. But, bro, just hold us down with a pink diamond AD. Like, give us a locker code or make him earnable. Even make him earnable. Who cares? Just give us a free elite card from the end season tournament now keep in mind though i said an elite okay elite card do not come to us and give us no austin reeves do not if we get an austin reeves or a d'angelo russell or some dumbass player i'm never playing this game again i'm done i'm done to okay i'm done you clipped Dunzo. Goodbye. If we go right here to the pack market, token market, as you can see, I got 41 tokens. Glenn Rice is 40 tokens. So we can finally get that boy Glenn Rice, who we've been racking up these tokens for. Yes, sir. Show me a diamond. Now, I haven't even seen this card too much in online game modes or anything, so I don't know how he's moving. I don't know how he's moving at all. I'm definitely trying to see how this card is moving, because Glenn Rice usually is, is decent in 2K. Let's go see them stats real quick. 94 three ball, 92 midi 80 driving dunk not the greatest ball handle but he's a forward so it's like who cares but that boy got the strap 88 driving like he could do a little bit of everything really good forward i ain't gonna lie and as y'all can see we are jason terry and otis thorpe away from getting this pink diamond kevin garnett eight out of ten players i need 15 more wins in triple threat co-op i need 34 more wins in clutch time offline it's gonna take a little minute but we'll get there you feel me we'll get there now also 2k added another player to get for look 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 at this bum ass lamar odom you could tell he he off the sugar in the picture look at him look he don't even know where he looking he don't know what's going on if we come down they added nick batum into the game so all you got to do is get trailblazers points in the paint and apply five shoes which i already did and that will also go towards the kobe set so so far for kobe all the free players are bill russell mark price nick batum and brian scalabrini then you got the lock-ins of penny hardaway and iggy i don't know like what 2k is doing like y'all are giving us sapphires what are y'all doing like where is the where's this leading to this got it they got to be doing this on purpose like they giving us sapphires so that we can get hit with a pink diamond right at the end they gotta be because it's it's just it's no way let me give you a quick lineup update because my lineup i haven't really been playing unlimited at all i haven't played since last week and i got my win but this is what the squad is looking right like right now now i'm gonna rearrange it and get some stuff right but for the most part the starting lineup is gucci yeah this is the squad let me know let me know who y'all think i should run at backup shooting guard let me know your guys starting five down below in my team right now but that's gonna do it for this video i appreciate all the recent love and support we are on the road to 300 subs so if y'all could please hit that sub button it would mean a lot to me this was your boy ant live live in effect and we out peace